you're sitting on a lot of money, you're just not sure where you are leaving it and how to pick it up, right? There are a lot of things that I have learned from my clients telling me that this is what's been happening or also from uh, my own experiences that you have been leaving money on the table. Like there are a lot of places where you could have made that sale, right? Or you could have done a different action in order to close that sale and you couldn't do that. You didn't do that because you don't know how to do it or because you don't know the strategies for it. And that is why today we are going to talk about the practical strategies that you can use in order to do this, in order to make this whole thing happen, right? So. If you are watching this right now, let me know that you are watching this and that you can hear me and you can see me. And if you are watching this as a replay, make sure that you put hashtag replay to let me know. It always makes me feel good to see that you've been watching this, right? Um, I know that a lot of people, when I put the poll on my Instagram stories, a lot of people voted on, I will be there, but I'll be watching the replay. So no, no problem with that. Just make sure that you've put the hashtag replay to let me know that you've been there. You watched the training to let me know. Okay. That's it. Let's get into the training, right? You're literally sitting on a lot of money right now, but you don't know how to take it. We are going to talk about how to make that happen. Okay. So first thing that we are going to do is I'm going to give you a lot of scenarios that are going to happen and I know that you've been there because I know that I have been there, my clients have been there and next time when this happens, you would know how to deal with it, okay? In order to make sure that you're not leaving money on the table. Okay, first scenario is, let's say that there is someone who is interested in one of your offers and that person reaches out to you and tells you that, okay, tell me more details about your offer. And that person is very genuinely interested in your offer, but she is like, okay, I'm already working with another coach or this is not the right time. I'm already booked up and I wouldn't have time to work on it. So I'll be joining on the next round. Or they would say something like, I'll be joining in um, two months later, right? And what happens is that you most of the people what they do is that they would be like okay no problem with that i would just reach out to you if they said that okay i'll be available in march so i'll reach out to you so you would say that okay no problem with that i would i'm always available right we just end the conversation over there now you could have secured this because what i've seen is that most people just leave the conversation over there and most of my clients tell me that that person never came back now I'm not saying that that person genuinely didn't want to. The thing is that this person really wanted to join. That is why that person reached out to you. Okay. But the problem is that that person maybe like there are so many things that happens in a span of a longer time, right? So maybe they found someone else who uh, they liked more, right? Or maybe that they, most people do this, that they just take themselves out of the investment conversation, right? So they take themselves out of that and they are like, oh, I'm totally fine. I don't need to make that investment, right? Most people do that. So here's what you want to do. When someone says that, okay, I'm really interested in joining this program, but right now is just not the right time, genuinely just tell them the reason for why right now is the right time and tell them that they can just make a small deposit to secure this spot, to secure this price as well. And that is just it. We are, you are just letting them know that you can make a small deposit to make that. For me, when I have this kind of thing happening, what I do is I know that my prices are like because I'm scaling a lot right now, my prices are mostly increasing a lot and it will be increasing a lot now as well. So I know that genuinely my prices are going to increase and maybe even if I don't have that plan to increase the price, I would tell them that I cannot, I cannot guarantee a spot if you're going to uh, if you're going to join in March, let's say we are just going to take that example, like let's say someone is reaching out to you right now in January and they are telling you that I will be available in March, right? So I would just tell them that I cannot guarantee you a spot for March also at this price because I know that my prices are going to be increasing. So I cannot guarantee you until you make a small deposit. You can just make a small deposit to make sure this, this is a, just a DM script that you can use, right? You can just make a small deposit to secure the spot and also the price, also the current price, right? That is it. And I would make sure that I'm telling them that if you are really considering this, 
right because we want to make sure that we are not trying to this is not to get them to join your program or whatever right this is just a genuine answer to them like this is what's possible maybe you wouldn't get a spot at that point so this is what it is we are just stating the facts right in front of them and they can then choose themselves if they want to do it or not right and when you say that this is going to be a very small deposit that you can place most people would be very uh, most people who reach out to me they are actually very much considering the program right so they would be curious about it like what is going to be the investment so now your investment should be um i would say five percent i don't know how to calculate that but i would say if it's a thousand dollar program it would be something like a two hundred dollar deposit something like that and then make your own calculation for your program right so it would be a very small deposit that they can make it should be a very non no-brainer deposit that they can make right now right and then you have to tell them that I'm telling you the strategy right you have to tell them that this is going to be a non-refundable deposit so the reply to that question of like what would be the investment what would be the deposit I would say that the it would be it would be a $200 deposit a $200 non-refundable deposit and when you come back in March you can uh, this deposit would be credited towards your whole total payment so then you would only be making $800 uh, payment right makes sense right and then you can choose whether you want to go with a PIF or a payment plan this makes everything so much clear and this secures their spot for the match right so if someone is saying that i would be available in march you can tell them that i would secure your spot for march so that i know when i can make uh, how many spots i have to open for march right this is a very genuine conversation but most people don't take it as like i can make that genuine conversation with someone right you have to be very clear about the facts we are just stating the facts we are not we are not attaching ourselves to the sale we are not trying to make the sale all we are doing is just stating the facts to them that this is what's possible right maybe the spot wouldn't be there anymore or maybe this price would have increased right so if you are actually considering this if you are genuinely considering this i would suggest you that you place a small, small deposit to secure the spot and the current pricing this is just a very small dm this small dm just makes you so many people lined up to work with you right because when you are actually selling your program heavily so for example right now i'm selling the clients accelerator heavily at this point you would get a lot of the clients accelerator people but you cannot get you cannot take every single person on january right on the same month if it's a one-on-one -on -one program and there would also be a lot of people who would be like i cannot join right now i'm already working with a coach or i'm very filled up right now so there would be a lot of objections but they actually want to join right because this person reached out to you because they want to work with you right they are genuinely interested so all you are going to say to them is that if you want to do this because i have seen this a lot of people make this mistake i've seen this with my clients as well i tell my clients ask for deposit ask for deposit all the time and still last time i checked in with one of my clients and she told me i didn't ask for deposit Oh my god such a huge mistake and she has all of the dm scripts for it there are dm scripts for all of these inside the clients accelerator so um my clients have this and this is this comes with experience and this comes with practice so start doing it right there's no shame in asking for the deposit and we are actually just take it with a very simple thing like we are just stating the facts we are not attaching to the sale we are not trying to get a sale we are not trying to grab their money they actually want to join the program let's just state the facts of what is the actual reason for why they should join now why right now is the right time to join right so that is the first thing this is actually literally the place where most of the people are leaving money on the table right most people are leaving money on the table right now for this thing okay so this is one second thing is most people do this and they decide that okay i'm going to be a high ticket coach or a high ticket 
mentor, right? And then they only have high ticket offers. Only high ticket offers, right? And I will tell you that no matter how many people you have in for the high ticket offer or how how well you are selling it, I will tell you that there are so many people who actually watch you every single day and literally want to join your programs, but they cannot because they don't have the resources to join that high ticket offer. Or they just don't have that much trust in you that they can join your high ticket offer. So I'm not saying that you shouldn't have the high ticket offer, okay? What I'm saying is that you can have low ticket offers along with high ticket offers so that you are reaching out to all of your audience to the maximum of your audience because literally this is like when you don't have low ticket offers and you only have high ticket offers you are not reaching the people a lot a large amount of people who want to work with you just because you only have high ticket offers. What if you had just one or two low ticket offers that these people can try on and see how it is to be in your programs, right? This is literally money leaving, leaving money on the table, right? You don't have low ticket offers. You only have high ticket offers and you're leaving money on the table because so many people actually want to be in your programs, but they just don't have the resources, let's say, right? So there are two reasons why people wouldn't join your programs, your high ticket programs, okay? One is they don't have that much trust that that, that program is going to bring me that much of a value, right? So if I'm going to invest, let's say $2,000 in this program, I don't know what is going to happen, right? So they want to try on something, which is why it, it it's a it's a smart investment for them to actually get inside a low ticket offer. Let's say it's a $47 offer or $97 offer. They can try that out and they can see how it is to be inside your programs. What is the quality of your programs, right? So that is one reason why people don't join pro high ticket offers like immediately, right? And the second thing is, second reason is maybe they just can't afford it, right? If they cannot afford it, they are not going to like if they genuinely cannot afford it, they are not going to buy your high ticket offers, but they still want to be in your programs, right? When they still want to be in your programs, you can just give them low ticket offers, right? So what I'm saying is that if you are one of those people who only has high ticket offers, I want you to bring in one or two low ticket offers. So. I'll just explain this. Let me sip some water. Let me say, for everyone, high ticket offers are different, right? So what is the level of high ticket? That's different for from person to person, right? So for example, for me, high ticket offer is literally at this point, I'm like 8,000 or $10,000 is high ticket, right? 2000 5000 I've own, I've also invested a $10,000 program and that is like okayish for me right to invest but to sell to sell a program probably that would be 8000 or $10,000 that would be a high ticket program for me right 2000 is not a high ticket program for me anymore anymore okay now for some people also if i talk about myself just three months back i would say that even one thousand dollar was a high ticket offer for me at that point just three months back now because this is different from person to person your low ticket offers are also going to be different from person to person right so for example if for you high ticket offer i'll just take the example of thousand dollars if for you thousand dollars is a high ticket offer right then I would say that create at least one or two low ticket offers that are placed at $47 or less than that. The reason for that is if your audience is looking at your $1,000 offer and they are like, I cannot afford it, they can at least try on the low ticket offers and they could get value out of you, right? So that is one thing. Another thing is that I have seen so many of my clients who joined one, a few of my low, low ticket offers and then they were like immediately after going through that experience they were like immediately i want to join your highest 
ticket offer. I want to join your TCA program. That is because they wanted to see how good it is, right? They could see how good these offers are. If the low ticket offer is so good, how good the high ticket offer would be, right? So people want to experience that in order to get inside your high ticket offer. That just builds trust. You are literally leaving money on the table when you don't have a low ticket offer. So if you don't have it all, if you don't want to create low ticket offers as well, if you don't want to create my my kind of um, a huge offer suit, if you don't want to create that, you can still have just one or two low ticket offers that you can keep selling again and again. Maybe just pre-record the trainings, right? Maybe just create a masterclass or a training, pre-record these, and then just provide it to your audience right there are a lot of things that you can do but this will increase the trust that people would have in you and i want to tell you that when you are creating low ticket offers even if it is just a 47 dollar offer think of it how can you create how can you make it a thousand dollar experience because this will bring so much into your audience and if it's thousand dollar offer think of how can you bring a ten thousand dollar experience in it right because this is what people this is what will make your audience's minds blow your clients minds blow and they would be like i want to keep on with her that is the secret of my programs my most of my clients retain with my containers because of this okay so even if you are creating you are going to create just two low ticket offers make sure how can you make so make them so good so good that people blow their minds and they are like i want to join more of this i want more of this experience right so let's say they've gone through first offer low ticket offer and then you create another one which is another low ticket offer they've gone through that as well and now they are like i want more of this the next option is obviously your high ticket offer so they would be there right that's the easiest way to upsell people into it now another place where people actually leave money on the table is related to this same thing let's say there's an inquiry coming in for your high ticket offer and for some reason it just didn't well it just didn't go well right so that person just decided that for some reason they are not going to go through this right they are not going to go with the payment right um now what you can do is because you have a low ticket offer now you can tell them that this if this didn't go well let's just try this so you can pitch them as a down sell the low ticket offer right so you're going to pitch them the low ticket offer as a down sell you can do this this is what's called not leaving money on the table because you are not letting that hot client hot lead go away this is literally all of the people who are reaching out to you for your offers they are hot leads they want to work with you they are interested you cannot let them go so how can you downsell them to one of your low ticket offers how can you pitch them the low ticket offer maybe you just don't them instantly maybe you do it later on right but how can you do that make sure that you are managing these leads make sure that you are taking note of these like this person reached out for this offer this person reached out for this offer i have a very good uh, management plan uh, management board for this that i share inside the clients accelerator okay so this is what you call not leaving money on the table right so that is another one, third one. Fourth idea is, this is like you've been selling or you've been showing up on stories regularly. You've been showing up, you've been consistently posting on Instagram as well. Let's say, are you sharing your free offers regularly? This doesn't directly affect your money coming in, right? But this does affect the number of people who you are capturing. So there are a lot of people, even if you have just 100 followers right now, those are 100 human beings who signed up to look out for your content, right? Are you capturing these people? So just one thing that I want to tell you is that are you sharing 
your offers, free offers regularly on stories? Are you doing that? And another thing is once you do that, let's say you have a freebie. I'm, I'm very sure that if, you're, if you've been in business for a while, I'm very sure that you have at least one or more freebies, right? Now you have those freebies, but where you are leaving money on the table is that you don't have a welcome email sequence after people download that freebie because that freebie goes on through your email sequence, um, email list, right? People sign up for your email list and then they get your freebie. After that, if you are just leaving it up to the weekly emails that you send, which you don't do regularly, that is not how people going people are going to buy, right? That is like you're just leaving them to go figure it out yourself, right? What I want you to do is after people sign up for your freebie, make sure that you have a welcome email sequence. So this would be like, let's say today someone downloads a freebie. From starting from tomorrow, they would start getting five emails every single day starting tomorrow, five days from now, right? And that is the welcome email sequence that goes automatically to them. If you have any email service provider, they would provide that, right? You just have to create that welcome email sequence that goes out after they download the freebie. Now, this is what people call sales funnel and there's nothing complicated about it. It's just a email, it's just an email sequence. All you have to do is make sure that you create a content strategy. If you know how to create a content strategy, if you don't know, I teach that inside the client's accelerator. If you know how to create a content strategy, that is what you do for five emails. Okay. Just create a content strategy for five emails. Make sure that you sell on each and every day so that people get habituated to you selling to them in the email so that you are not making them freebie seekers. Literally, I will tell you that we have the tendency to tell our audience that you can look out for free content from us, <laughs> right? So we actually train them to become freebie seekers, which is why this is one thing that I would recommend to you that you actually um, create a welcome email sequence and then sell from day one. This will also tell them that these are the prices that are your regular prices so that they have an anchor that these are your prices and then that is what they would expect. So when you have a lower price, they would want to grab it because if you've been selling, I would actually recommend that you sell a high ticket offer in your welcome email sequence, right? And when they've seen your prices regularly, when you come up with a low ticket offer, they would be like, yes, that is actually a no brainer right so this is another thing second thing is this is a very small mistake that i see everyone making right and that is even after that welcome email sequence they don't share regular emails so at least share one weekly email and all you have to do is just pick one of your posts that you created and just share the same thing on your emails right that is what i do uh, unless I have something else to share that I want to share. Okay. Now, all of these things is where you are leaving money on the table and you can pick that money. These are just very simple tweaks. These are not even like things that are going to take time from you, right? Very simple tweaks that you can make in order to take that money that you are, that you've been leaving on the table, right? But I also want to share very indirect ways in which we are leaving money on the table right these are these were all the direct ways now let's talk about indirect ways where we are leaving money on the table and that is when we are working with clients we do a lot of things that help that can help us or that cannot help us in getting more clients right so let's talk about social proof what is social proof social proof is just someone else someone else your client selling your offer for you right that is what a social proof is which is why 
If I'm selling my offer, people would know that yes, obviously she would rave about her offer. But if my clients are selling my offers, people can actually trust more, right? People can trust that more because someone else is saying that who has been in that experience. That is what a social proof is. Now, the biggest mistake that we make when we are working with clients and that indirectly affects our income is that we feel like I'm too big now or I'm too small right now, so I shouldn't be asking for feedback, right? What's with the shame that I shouldn't be asking for feedback, right? How many people do this? Or this is what I did, okay? I will tell you that when I started out one year ago, this account, I was literally asking for feedback for, from every single one of my clients. Every single one of my clients. I was also doing that on every call that you should be doing, actually. That is also one of the strategies that I'm going to share with you. But after a while, I was like, I don't need to. I already got so many feedbacks, right? This is not about just asking to get social proof this is also about getting to learn how their experience was which will help you improve this program for the next people coming in which is very valuable i've learned so many things from people sending me a feedback form let me tell you the tca feedback form is very long very long okay and my clients are very happy to provide that feedback and even with how happy they are there are a lot of features inside the tca but i've learned through experience and improved them for example one of my clients told me that it was very hard to log in into the portal into the course portal because the login there's no login button <laughs> and i still don't have that login button because i'm afraid that because it's a wordpress website i'm afraid that there would be a lot of hackers which happens on my another website right so but to improve that i've made sure that for every other client that is coming in i have a shared folder with everyone and i share with them inside that share folder the links the important links that will be helpful for them so there's a link to log in to the portal there's also a link to book a call with me right there and there's also a link to submit their submit their content to get to get it reviewed by me there's a there's an application form for that that i can submit it's a very small form they just have to add the content that they created and to be submitted right so that is it but they have links all of links to all of these things right there and they can just get it right there right so i learned this the hard way you will think that there are so many things that you are already doing and that that person is very happy or that that person, if that person is very happy and I can already see that, I don't need feedback, right? You will still find a lot of things that they will tell you that will help you improve the program, right? Also, if some person is not happy at all, you still want feedback from them to understand what was going on or what is going on right so it's very valuable asking for feedback there's no shame in it no matter how big you are there's no such thing as that even if you are at a very big level and everyone just knows you right they just know you and you are people are already raving about you you still want feedback from them in order to improve your program even more right Another thing, another mistake that most of us make is that we don't record our one-on-one -on -one calls. This is a mistake that I still make, <laughs> okay? And I have a document for each and every client inside Notion. I have pages for that. I have a very good system for managing my clients because every client is at a different level right every client has different calls with me so someone is on call number one today and someone else is on call number four today right so i have to manage all of that and remembering that 
not possible right so which is why what i do is i add all of these clients on a notion i have a system for that inside notion i have pages for all of these and i've set it to a kanban view right so what happens is that all i have to do is i have to drag that page into let's say now it's going to be call number four so i'll drag that to call number four so that is how i know which call is it is and then inside the page as well i just write it down that which call we had and then what things we discussed right on the call itself so that is an easy way to manage it but on that on that page for every single client i've written in bold letters that please start the recording <laughs> for myself to remember for myself if you're using zoom okay if you're using zoom i will tell you that for every zoom meeting you you have a very default setting that you can set which says that store the recording on my computer right if you tick that then all of the calls would be automatically be recorded to your computer and you don't have to worry about that i use skype because it helps me have the conversations different right so uh, the conversations which has important links the skype also lets you add the call recording itself in the chat itself so people can just record get get that recording right there so that is very easy for me i don't have to upload it for the client as soon as the call is ending right so that makes that is helpful for me but another thing that skype has is that once you can it, it doesn't allow you to start the recording until the another person has has started the call right so has joined the call so what happens is that i have i start the call and then i read that on the document that okay i'm going to i'm going to remember this time that i'm going to start the recording and then as soon as the client is on board they are they have joined the call i'm so excited to meet them that i forget it and this happens to me so many times that impromptu my clients start talking about their wins they start talking about their uh, results they start raving about how good it was they start taking about their break breakthroughs that they have gotten from what i've been talking about and then that is just not recorded <laughs> right this happened to me last to last week i guess and i didn't record it and then in between i recorded it i shared that on my stories but there were so many good nuggets that she had shared even before that that i couldn't record right so you want to record these things because there are actually golden nuggets over there and that client actually told me before the recording which i don't have recording for but she told me that i will never join any other marketing program after going through tca because there's no need anymore i will only join mindset programs that is like a huge thing for me i wish i had the recording for that I'm sharing this because I want to show you how important it is to actually record these. Right? Another one of my clients, this happened just yesterday. <laughs> I didn't start the recording. I knew I had to remember, but I forgot it because as soon as she was she joined, she started talking about we have been with we have been together for a long time so she was very excited to share about it and she was like i have to share this story with you there have been so many clients coming in and i want to share it and i was so excited i didn't record i have the recording from the middle but she talked about how people have been raving raving about her stories and she told me that that was because of her and because of that was because of me and because of uh that stories because of her stories she got a social media management client who also wants her to manage her stories and that is a higher package stories for when you have to manage someone's stories obviously that's going to be a higher package right so she got a high ticket client that is a huge deal right so i don't have the recording for that which is why i want you to start keeping that recording start keep the recording on right so another thing that you can do is let's say there have been a few clients who have been talking about the same struggles again and again 
right so let's say you have three clients who are going to the, through the same struggles now these are your one-on-one -on -one clients so obviously you can take them through one-on-one -on -one through these struggles but you are seeing a pattern that is coming on again and again now you can pick this struggle and create a public program for this which would be a low ticket offer right because you are talking about something that is not a huge struggle but it's a struggle that has come that has come out to be a very common struggle in your clients if three of your clients are struggling with this right i'm sure that a lot of people in your audience are also struggling with this right so now that they are struggling with this you can create a passive program maybe a passive program or any live program as well maybe a master class or a training whatever you want to create you can create a program that would be available to your offer uh, to your audience publicly right because we know now that a lot of people would be willing to invest in this because so many people would be struggling with this right now what if you didn't have recording of all of your clients who were talking about these same struggles how are you going to pick the messaging of this program right because you have this recording you can actually go back to them you can actually go back to that and go through the recordings and see what was the what were the exact words they were using to describe the situation what were they exactly going through so that you can actually articulate the whole thing in your messaging so that you can sell your low ticket offer more right this is why keeping a recording is very very helpful you don't even know when it is going to be it is going to become helpful for you right let's say there's a client who told you nine months back that she was struggling with this and now you got two more clients who are talking about the same thing now you want that nine months back training right so how can you create that that is that that is so helpful when you have the recording so what i do is i download the recording from the skype app and then i upload it to youtube and put it to private and i name it with the name <laughs> name of the person the name of the program and the call number so let's say it's a call number one two three four whatever right and then i also write down a little bit about what we discussed on if the client is recurring client right so this makes this creates kind of like a system that you can always go back to and figure out like the pick out this exact thing that you need right okay so we've talked about a lot of things last thing that i want to talk about is after every one-on-one -on -one call that you have with your client ask for the biggest breakthrough from the call this makes a huge difference how small or tiny this thing looks like it's not that tiny because when you ask for the biggest breakthrough after each and every call because you have the recording on as well you get a social proof if they're talking about something really good or if you want to share it you don't want to share every single thing right but if you want to share it you can so that is one thing another thing is when you ask them for the biggest breakthrough from the whole call what is going to happen is that they are going to go back into the whole one hour call that you had and because they are looking for the positive feedback they would subconsciously think of the whole call as a positive vibe and they would think subconsciously think that this call was a really good call even if they don't have just a one specific thing to tell you that how good this how good which breakthrough they got right another advantage of this is that you would get to understand what was that one thing you shared with them that made a huge difference for them because then you can use this for other clients for the next clients you can use the same thing make sure that you don't forget it and you can make it more mind-blowing for the next client right this is literally just how you can shift the mindset how you can shift the experience of your internal internal experience of your programs so that people feel more good about it so that people have better transformations from your program because this will give you obviously when people have better experience with your one program they would sign up for another or they would retain again with the same program 
that is what happens most of most of the time with my programs right so we've talked about i think six or seven things <laughs> we've talked about six or seven things all talking about how to stop leaving money on the table and let me just review it all for you so first was always ask for a deposit when someone says that this is not the right time but i'm really interested in this program and i will be joining later on second one is if you only have high ticket offers consider putting in a few low ticket offers so that you can cover a major of your audience and all of your audience right and you can also pitch your low ticket offer as a down sell when someone says no to a high ticket offer right you don't have to do that right then and there but you can do that later as well another thing is share your free offers regularly because you want to capture maximum of your audience on your emails so that you are not losing them let's say instagram goes away right or whichever social media you are using let's say that goes away how are you going to reach out to all of those people that you had if you were regularly sharing your free offers you can then send them an email and tell them that i'm now available over here right so that all of those people who are actually very much interested in your profile in in uh, your in the value that you are bringing in they would actually join right so you will collect them back again so that is one thing another is have a welcome sequence next thing is if you're not asking for feedback indirect things okay if you're not asking for feedbacks from your clients you're not too big you're not too small for this you always want to ask for feedbacks from your client another thing is always keep recording on when you have one-on-one -on -one conversations with your clients there will be golden nuggets that you want to share another thing is ask for biggest breakthrough after each and every call okay you don't know how much this is going to impact the experience of that person inside your program and this will help all of this all of the strategies that i've shared here this will help you build more trust with your audience sign more clients and pick up the money from the places you've been living right you've been leaving money on the table you'll be able to pick up that money and this will increase your income without increasing your workload because we literally have talked about things that doesn't increase increase your workload we are just adding a little bit of tweak tweaking a few things in order to make that happen right but this is just about where you're leaving money on the table but there's more to this which is why i want to talk about the consistent income masterclass that i'm doing in february it is going to open it, it is going to be available on february and i want to make sure that you are inside because we have only touched nothing like this is not even anywhere near to what we are going to talk about inside the consistent income master class because in there we are going to talk about how to have recurring income how to have predictable income how to have a baseline income coming in regularly every single month and then you get to increase it from there right so you have a baseline income so you never feel like am i going to make any money this month right and how you can if you have a high cash month what happens with high cash month what happens is that we think that okay we are very happy okay this month was amazing i'm very happy with it right and then we think that the next moment just the next moment is like i don't even know how am i going to recreate it for the next month like there's a pressure there's a pressure that comes with it right and we don't want that so which is why i want to i will give you mindset and strategy trip tips to replicate the high cash months that you've had before it is not a fluke it wasn't a fluke for you i'm going to help you how to recreate that
which is why this training is really good this training is only $47 for now but as you know if you've been following me for a while you know that I increase my prices as soon as I work on my program so when I actually create the content I know that I will be increasing it I don't have any plans to increase for now but it will increase so $47 only to create consistent income for your whole months <laughs> coming in right that is like a no-brainer right so we will be this is going to be amazing but I will tell you that this is one of the things that you don't want to miss okay hi in what was it income I lost my train of train of thoughts but I want to say that we will be doing this kind of training every single week and you will get the topics of each week every week inside the Facebook group as well and on my stories as well so keep a watch on my stories and if you are watching this as a replay or live right now please take a screenshot and share it on your stories by tagging me it always feels good to see you watching my trainings it makes my day okay so this is it I also want to share with you that we have two programs that you can join if you want one-on-one -on -one with me which is one is story sales story sales is all about how to bring in sales from stories every single week or every single day depending on how you are going how how much of a momentum you are creating right and this is going to help you bring a lot of sales regularly and the best part of this is that you will learn how to sell on stories every single day without ever annoying your audience right that is the biggest thing which is why story sales is like one of the best things ever but I also added a one-on-one -on -one support to it one-on-one -on -one walks of support for eight weeks to story sales which is a huge thing and that is amazing that is just four ninety seven dollars and then you get to have the whole story sales course available to you for a lifetime another thing is the clients accelerator you know about it everyone knows about the clients accelerator so clients accelerator is all about it's a 12 week program one on one with me where you get bi weekly one on one calls with me and you get every single thing like submit your content to me um, have Voxer support all of those you get nine month TCA course you also get sold out launches course you get all of it this is where we actually personalize your content your offer messaging and your sales strategies to bring you sold out launches and high cash months my clients have been literally bringing high cash months for themselves and this is possible for you as well so all of this is possible you can also watch tca wins highlight on my story highlights to see what are the kind of results you can expect for your business okay that is a one thousand eight hundred and eighty seven dollars but i will tell you that this price is going to increase no matter what it is going to increase to five thousand because literally the number of clients who are getting transformation and the amount of the kind of transformations they are getting that is amazing and insane inside the clients accelerator so i'm expecting a lot of people to even because i am scaling really fast and i'm also expecting my clients to scale along with me so they will uh, don't don't feel like <laughs> this is going to happen okay you will see my clients making ten thousand dollars very soon and which is why even I, I have been thinking about this when i'm going to do this when i'm going to increase the prices for tr the clients accelerator it might be along the lines of when i actually release the sold out launches in february but it's still not decided yet i this that is just an idea that is in my mind but it will increase this is not to create any urgency for you you do yourself at your own timing I literally just trust your timing and this is just the facts that I'm stating that's it I'm so excited to see you here thank you so much for joining here I'm sending you so much love and I'll see you next time bye